I'm Barbara Fernandez, and this is the Geek on TV, episode number four. I'm really excited that I was finally able to order my iPhone 4. It's going to take two weeks to get here. But the good thing is that now I'm going to have two iPhones. I'm going to have my iPhone 4 and a 3G. And now I'm going to be able to use my 3G mostly for therapy without having to worry too much about what's going to happen to it. I work with preschoolers, and as you guys know, anything can happen. The good thing about using the iPhone with the new software update, the OS 4, is the ability to keep apps within folders. I can have folders for specific purposes. For example, I have all my smart to use apps within one folder. It's very easy to access. I click on it and I know that it's very easy to find the apps. I also have a folder just for my ABA apps. I love the ABA apps, by the way. I have apps for kids with limited language, with my, for my preschoolers. I have some apps I use for assessment. So I made different, different folders for them. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks. It's very easy and functional. Now let me show you guys how it looks using all the folders to keep your speech therapy apps separately from each other. So without having to scroll too much to find the specific app you want to use with a kid, you have folders as you can see here are the folders. For example, here are my ABA apps folder. You click on the folder and you have all the ABA apps. Really easy to access. Let's see, here I have another folder with all my Smarty Years applications. Again, very easy to find without having to scroll down. I only have now only three pages. I went from having ten pages to only have three. That's progress. Today I downloaded this really, really cute app by accident. It was free. It's called Talking Tom and it's a little cat that repeats everything you say. At first I thought, hmm, oh, that's cute. But then I started imagining the potential that it has for therapy. The kids would love to use it and to hear themselves back in the voice of a cat. And it could, it could be used as a motivator for articulation therapy. You could use it as a motivator during your assessment. I do a lot of play assessment with my preschoolers and I can imagine that using my iPad and this really cute cat would be awesome. Let me show you guys the way it sounds. Hey Tom, say hi. Hey Tom, say hi. Wow, can you imagine how cool this would be in therapy? Uh, can you imagine how cool this would be in therapy? So again, the name is Talking Tom. So again, the name is Talking Tom. Make sure you download it and use it in therapy. Oh, he didn't repeat that time. Oh, he didn't repeat that time. Bye everybody. Everybody. Before I let you guys know, I want to let those who are on Twitter know that there's a nice way to connect with other speech therapists. Speech therapists have been exchanging information, actually very smart speech therapists have been exchanging information on Twitter using SLP, not SLP. I remember in the beginning we started using SLP but we had lots of problems with other people who are using SLP as an acronym for sleeping or for sitting in Mexico. So we decided to use SLPs, which was a really good idea. So if you are on Twitter and want to connect with other SLPs, very good SLPs, just find us on SLPs. That was it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This episode was brought to you by Smarty Ears, developing apps for speech therapists. Now available on iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPads. Visit us at www.smarty-ears.com.